What's up guys? Today we're going to be installing some mad awesome eBay style side skirts. So I picked up these side skirts, I don't even know, probably two years ago maybe. Uh, I got them on eBay. Um, it was back in my, well, early days of this car when I was had a different idea about it. Um, they're crappy and they're, you know, warped and whatever. And so what I've done is I've, this is a while ago I did this, but I took some uh, aluminum L bracket or L stock and I rivet it along the back end of this. And I did that so that way it would try and keep it straight. You can see where I've cut some relief marks into it here to try and keep it from waving because they started getting real wavy after being in the heat and stuff. They're just crappy extruded plastic from China. Uh, after I riveted that on, I put some support brackets in out of aluminum as well. It's not the greatest stuff, but I think they look alright on the car. Uh, some higher end stuff, I wanted to keep these and use them as a template and maybe put some fiberglass over them or something and then try and use them for that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and make a mounting system for this now. Because I figure if I build a mounting system for it, then later on I can use a, a similar design. And I don't think the design is necessarily bad the way that I'm, I plan on doing this. Uh, I don't think it's the greatest way to do it, but I, for cheap and, you know, if you have a simple welder, I, I don't even know if I'm going to weld them in yet or not. I'm still going to kind of debate while I'm doing this video. I probably will end up welding these little pieces in, but I plan on using, using a, some uh, square stock that I have, digging through the old scrap bin. I'm going to take the square stock and I'm going to weld this down on the seals along the bottom of the car. And those seals are going to fit right in line with this L bracket. What I'll be able to do is then drill a hole through both sides of this and place a bolt in it. So that way I can actually bolt this in. I'm not going to use this big ass piece. I'm going to probably cut it off in like one inch squares. So I'll have, you know, however many that is, I don't know, probably 12 or 13 uh, one inch squares of this. And I'll just weld them along the seals and then bolt it in as I go down the chassis. You can see here where I cut and then bent out the L bracket. This is for the front jack point. Uh, the rear jack point I'm not going to use, but I always jack up the rear of the car with a differential housing anyways, so I'm not really that concerned about it. Uh, but that's pretty much how I'm going to try and go about it. I don't really know. There's really no significance to this. I don't think it's going to offer any aero advantage or anything like that. I mean, I'm sure there is probably some data out there for, you know, nice, flat, rigid ones, but this is all just for aesthetic purposes and me being a little ricer. So... Stick around, let's see how I do this. So here we are up underneath the car. I'll show you what I'm talking about when I say those side seals. I don't know if that's the proper name for them or not, but they are these seals right here that run along the entire length of the car. Uh, I think often they're referred to as pitch welds. That's where you set ride height often, is a pitch weld height to, to ground. Um, that's a lot of people use that metric instead of using like the center of the hub to the wheel arch. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and probably weld, maybe even bolt some of these right here onto the, the seal all along it. You can see I've got some, some rust developing right here, but I'm not, I don't care. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is then drill a hole through them at different locations uh, on one inch sections and then bolt the side skirts to the car. And hopefully this will hold out. I'm going to have to try and do something about the way I've spaced the front fender. I've done that to clear uh, so I don't have to roll the front fenders because I tried that before and it just started chipping paint and stuff. So I just said screw it and I just spaced them out all, all cool like. So uh, yeah, that's how I'm going to go about this. So here's all the pieces cleaned up. Uh, there's no chamfered edge or anything on them. Like I said, I'm just gonna stick them up here like that and probably tack weld them in or weld them in around the edges here. Uh, again, it's not gonna be perfect. Actually, I'll probably do them. Yeah, like that. I just gotta clean the areas, mark off where I'm gonna do it, clean the areas. There's gonna be a bit of an underhang, but nothing serious. As you can see, after I'm done, I'll 
punch a hole probably into that end right there, um, right here, and then I'll bolt them in. And hopefully that'll be, that should be strong enough to hold them pretty stout. Uh, and then later on, if I end up going to some other type of side skirt, which I plan on and I'll end up building something later, I can keep using these mounting points. So here we go. So my, for my measurements, it's about 11 and a half inches between each spacing. That's for five mounting points. So that includes one here at the very end. And then at the front, there's not a mounting point on the side, but I'm gonna use that bolt hole right there, which I use to space my fenders apart with. So it's gonna be mounted up there and the rest of them are gonna be mounted out. You can see the spacing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up those spots for welding and we'll get to it. Getting a bit closer. Here's the area cleaned up. You can see someone's done some patchwork here. It's probably some rust repair. I found some Bondo up here. I don't really care. Uh, I just need to weld shit to it. So it's whatever. Those are all the cleaned up spaces. I already brushed them off real good and scrubbed them down with some acetone. They're not perfect, but I don't, again, I'm not looking for engineering practices 101. This is just for a mounting solution for these awesome JDM eBay side skirts. So get the welding. So here we go. This is my uh, Borac welding helmet. Some of y'all might get that reference. It's from uh, Space Ghost Coast to Coast, but it's not the greatest equipment, but it'll get the job done. I'm just doing some spot welds first, and I'll go back and start doing some beads later. I'm probably not going to record too many because they're going to be pretty ugly. So I'm going to grind them down, and then you'll see the aftermath of that. Here we are after they're finished. That's my first one. As you can see it's pretty terrible. Uh, they get a little better as I go, but not much. I'm a pretty atrocious welder. My equipment's pretty minimal and I mean, I don't know. One day I'll invest, but right now I'm so bad it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's just a little 110 Lincoln uh, and I'm running on a pretty long extension cord, so. It doesn't do too well, but uh, those those things will hold. I hit them with a hammer a few times, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure uh, people in my chat are more experienced welders than I am. will have something to say about it. And that's all right. I accept it. Well, I ran into an issue. I, uh, I didn't take into account the thickness of the aluminum channel and the top of the side skirt, which is this thickness right here. And what that means is that, well, one, I had to knock everything back out and just grind it. That didn't take too long. But I run into a big issue, especially at my ride height. Uh, if you look, the way I had it the first time, I had it welded right to it, to the butt of it. So all that space up there is where the side skirt and the aluminum needed to go. So in order to do that, I would have to drop it down to about right there. Now that leaves a, about a half inch hanging off the bottom of that, and my ride height's already pretty low, so I don't want to do that. So what I'm thinking about doing is chopping the tops off of these, and open them up, and then slipping them up into it, like that, and hiding the, welding it from that side. So 
I'll have all this free part hanging out. It'll be a C-channel at, at that point. But I can weld it from the back side. So if you look, that's only maybe a quarter of an inch, if maybe even less than that when I'm finished hanging off the bottom. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. That might have been a little bit hard to follow by pointing that out the way I did, but you'll see whenever I, uh, I start cutting stuff up and welding it on. So this is going to be take number two on how I do this. So we're back and this is what I ended up doing. I cut off one side of all these and I'm gonna mount them back behind the pitch welds like that. So that way they're almost a tab coming out. I probably could have, well, maybe something like that, but that'd be back where I was. So I'm gonna go back behind and hang them off. Then I'm gonna drill a hole right here and I'm gonna put a bolt through that with the side skirt on it. And that's how I'm gonna mount everything up. I probably could have done this right with the drip rail anyways instead of using a tab like this but I don't know if I want any sort of hardware to go through it and I need some adjustability I feel like this is the way to go I'm not sure how this is gonna work I'm gonna have to get up underneath the car and grind back behind here and then I'm gonna have not grind well take the coating off and I might be welding on my back it's gonna kind of suck but uh, I'll show you whenever I'm done it doesn't matter how many times I do it, grinding is always a dirty job. You can see where I've made the clearings to weld here, here, and here. It might be a little dark down here for you guys. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and probably start back here to see how it holds. And then I'm going to go ahead and put them up in here like this. Like that. I might even drill a hole in there and put a plug weld into them. That's probably not a bad idea. And then that's how it's going to be held onto the chassis. Is that right there? So there, 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 and there. I think this will work out pretty well. It was kind of nasty grinding this stuff, and you can see where I've got some pretty bad stuff going on down here, but that's what you get with a $600 chassis. All right, I'll show you when I'm All right, back under the car. I just got everything done. As you can see, again, not very pretty welds. Uh, I ended up plug welding them. You could probably see in there the little plugs. Uh, I mean, you saw me drill them too, but I plug welded them and then I kind of tacked them along the sides. I don't want to use too much heat in these because I'm afraid it's going to catch this stuff on fire. I've seen people do that before with the sealant in between and then, uh, I've seen this rubberized coating also catch fire. I cleared it off as much as I could around it and stuff, but I just don't trust full, running a full bead along the top, bottom, and sides. I think these plug welds are going to be fine. And then the tacks that I did along the edges. Again, not very pretty. This is a flux core welder. They're never pretty welds, but they're hot enough. They sunk in enough. You can see some pretty good penetration there. Uh, it's They're pretty sturdy. I'm not that worried about them. But next, we'll be mounting everything up and uh, hopefully getting the other side done. I won't walk you through the other side process, but that's the tabs I'm going to use. See how it works on mount everything up. So there you have it all mounted up. Uh, what I ended up doing is I used some rib nuts. Um, one up underneath, it's up underneath here now. But there's one in the very front and there's a rib nut right there at the very back. And these brackets that I ended up making, I plan on drilling through the aluminum into the bracket and then pulling them together tight. But what ends up happening is that this stuff, right, it's the clearances are so tight between the two that I can't get it any further in that I've already squeezed it with a set of channel locks. So I'm just gonna let the friction hold it until I actually do a more permanent side skirt. These are literally brackets just for later on then, I guess. Uh, but they actually work pretty well. These things are semi-sturdy. I mean, they're not definitely <laughs> like proper aero. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend them. But if you have these cheapo eBay side skirts and you want to put some life into them or something, this isn't a bad way to do it. It's kind of labor intensive uh, and it costs a little bit of money. But it's it's good practice if you, uh, you know, are like me and 
just kind of in the garage and you got more time than money half the time and uh, wanted to use your welder or do some other things uh, I'm gonna call this a success I definitely have been out here a lot longer usually the first time of this kind of stuff takes the longest uh, the next one I'm gonna use is gonna end up you know being a lot shorter so tomorrow I'll probably work on the other side I'm not gonna videotape any of that stuff but if you enjoyed the content like and subscribe leave a couple comments I'm usually pretty active on there so take it easy Thank you.